Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And something very interesting happened earlier today. Apparently, Dwayne The Rock Johnson was on Fox News. Yeah. And he walked back his 2020 endorsement of President Joe Biden. That's really interesting because that is like a huge no-no in Hollywood, isn't mm -hmm. it? Mm-hmm. Um, so we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about what he said. And he basically said this year he's not going to endorse anyone. He doesn't think it's a celebrity's place it to isn't. do that. It's common sense. Thank you. Um, and this this also echoes uh, sentiments by uh, Kurt Russell. We'll talk about that. And Chris Pratt, people have been trying to get a beat on his politics. And he just sidesteps the issue. He doesn't yeah, want to talk because, about it. You know, Hollywood and stuff keeps trying to push people to make statements and comments. And I don't think it's anybody else's business nor should they tell people how they should vote or treat people differently because of how they vote when we were kids like people voted all the time and you didn't know who they voted for and it didn't matter you know yeah it's insane yeah. that you have to you have to proudly announce to everyone to get your back pats and up votes um I, i'm not gonna tell any of you how to vote you vote how you want to vote and that's cool and i get that because that's how demo well democracy is supposed to work you're supposed to, to to vote and have a say not that we know it works or not but i'm just saying i'm not going to tell you what you should and shouldn't do, nor am I going to be mean to you if you vote in a different way for me, because that's your right. And it doesn't make you a bad person if you disagree with me on, on that. I think everybody should vote for me. Yes, vote for Neon. Vote for me, Neon. President Chud. Don't take, don't vote for me because I just take over, so. She would. She would. It wouldn't be good. Anyway. Let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, get woohoo if you do. Woohoo. Yeah, I about fell out of my chair. But now, look, uh, Dwayne Johnson has, I believe he has kind of a conservative streak in him. And he has made comments before that, uh, you know, I think he wasn't real super happy with the way things were going. But he said he felt effectively pressured to say something. Um, yeah, I believe it. You know, last time that he had to give an endorsement and he said that, you know, because he's a celebrity, he's, you know, they probably, the studios told him like, you better, you better say vote for Biden. And remember, remember the fundraiser too. Like, uh, you know, talking about Chris Pratt. Oh yeah. He didn't go to the fundraiser. He didn't go to the Biden fundraiser and they got all pissed off at him, uh, for that, you know, Mark Ruffalo and, and some other, some other MCU stars. And then we had people attacking him on, on Twitter and um yes and then the the you know the accepting you know intolerant people that intolerant were calling people. zoe saldana racist slurs because right. she wouldn't do what they wanted and she supported him she came out and supported yeah, him look and i think what he said here is, is right you got people on the far right right and far left that are fueling a lot of the political division and i think the majority of people are in the middle and i think that's true i think you might lean right right you might lean left but most people are rational normal people in the middle unfortunately what you hear are the extreme voices and hollywood definitely has a megaphone yeah and and that's it and when you've got a celebrity you know like dwayne johnson who is is one of the biggest uh, male celebrities in hollywood right now they're they're gonna push him harder to say something and uh you know so he had to, you know that's what we say now look People have their opinions. There's a whole Maui situation, the Oprah situation. I'm not even going to get into that. That's a whole other thing. Um, also, bear in mind, he has said before that he has actually thought about running for office. That's my first thought. I'm like, what is um, this? Because he's going to run next time? <laughs> that was my first thought. Yeah. So I think at this point, I think at this point, a lot of Democrats realize that Biden is, is very unpopular, even among Democrats. <laughs> And, uh, you know, if he does not win in November, I think The Rock wants to make sure that he has a shot. I don't know you if know. that's why. But, well, the Biden thing, is, it, to me, it's very sad because uh, it does not seem that he understands or knows what's going on sometimes. <laughs> and I, Sometimes. I, I, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be sometimes. Uh, diplomatic and polite here. And I think that... It kind of comes across as elder abuse. Um, oh yeah, it's, and it's I, crazy. I just, I, I feel kind of bad. People are going to matter for saying that, but I do because I think, I think that there's, there, it's a many faceted issue, and I don't think he has control of many of the facets. Let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah, I so. think, I think uh, he doesn't have a control of many of the faculties either. But that's a whole nother, a whole nother thing. I think that. Um, yeah, it's it's you know I was talking to our daughter yesterday about uh, voting because they're they're talking about politics right now in school 
And I said, you know, she's like, I don't understand why we have millions of people in this country. And like, these are the most qualified. These are the people that we always put up for election. Like of all the people we have in the country, why is it always like the two worst candidates that I'm like, I don't know. That's a damn good question. Cause all the people I like, they never, they never make it. Um, but anyway, he was on Fox and friends, which but he is, he did say he didn't endorse, he didn't specifically endorse Donald Trump. No. Um, and that pissed people off too. So he's going to piss everybody off. Cause he's basically saying, Hey, you know, uh, when you're a celebrity, you basically got the superpower to sway opinion. And he's like, you know, I thought I was doing the right thing last time. I was wrong. Uh, this time I'm not going to say anything. Um, so he was well, he on says that. He says, go back up. Yeah. He was on the, play it. Uh, I can play it. Yeah. Why don't we play it? Um, this is Will Kane interviewing him. So this is like strike one. The fact that he actually went on Fox and friends, but he was on Joe Rogan too, saying similar things. So apparently he, and he's not getting canceled. Like I'm very surprised that, I know yeah. for a fact, I know for a fact, there are a lot of people in Hollywood who agree with what he's saying. Yes. I know for a fact there's a lot of people in Hollywood that are, are rational. They might lean left, they might lean right, but they're more moderate. Yeah. I know for a fact there's a lot of people in Hollywood who think the purity tests are out of control. And they, you know, they are, and there's a lot of people who are Republicans too. And then they're just felt like that they're shunned, they're mistreated, they've been, you know, stepped over, replaced bullied, et cetera, et cetera. It's like, it'd be a real shame if you never got work again because you had a penis, or it'd be a real shame if you never got work again because you voted the wrong way or whatever. And they're tired of it. And I think they're going to, they're not going to publicly say stuff, but they, they're going to do what they're going to do. Yeah. I mean, that's just the way it is. I think, I think the majority of people, because he said he, he's, he's his hope that, that we go in the right direction. I think the majority of people are rational people who want the country to do better. But I also know the majority of politicians are in it for the money or they, they could get reelected. There's not term limits, which there should be term limits. And it's not in the, it, you, it's not in the best interest of them to do what's best for the people. But their job is to represent the people. And then a lot of them are out there when you at, tell them that they're like, like you, you, you don't, I pay more taxes than you. I pay my own salary. I don't have to do what you want me to do. And that's the mentality. And instead of getting things fixed and instead of doing what's best for the people in general, they keep doing what's best for their own damn asses. And that's across the board. Yeah. I'm sorry, but it's true. And I'm, I'm personally fucking sick of it. Sorry, mom. But in this case, I know you'll agree with me. I am just ridiculously tired. Of the bullshit, the queer politician bullshit. Let's let's stop that, please, because I'm tired of it. You get in there, you get in there, and you do your damn job. Instead of doing what, whatever you what, like, you take pocket money and do what this and that for everybody else, and what's going to make you the most money and help you and your family. Fuck you. Do your job or get out. There you Sorry. go. Sorry. Continue. That's gonna be on your bumper sticker. Do your job or get, get out. out. All right, so uh, let's put some headphones on here. We're going to listen to what The Rock has to say on Fox News. I mean, that like I can already hear people screeching like, oh, my God, why did he go on the big you know, network? I don't understand. If you're like in the, in the middle, like most people, you know, I think you think both extremes are ridiculous. But they also you can go on different news networks because some, you know, we'll, we'll talk about things. Other ones won't. And it just depends on where you're coming from. And I think we need to find news networks that are more fair in general. I'm not saying Fox is, I'm not saying CNN is. I'm just saying we need people that are going to go to both and are going to answer the questions and are going to allow themselves to be interviewed and talk and, you know, be asked tough questions. That's going to be, that's going to be uh, social media personalities because the networks are controlled with the advertising money. Well, that is true. Yeah. And so, by their, by whoever owns them and what, what right. they, they lean. All right. Let's, let's listen to this. Yes. You made that endorsement in 2020. Are you happy with the state of America? Am I happy with the state of America right now? Well, that answer is no. Do nope. I believe we're going to get better? I, I believe I in that. So. I'm an optimistic guy, and I, I believe we can get not better. Unless we get rid of some people. Um, yeah, so, I mean, at least he's not like, America sucks. It's going to, I mean, that's 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 very different from some celebrities, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, if you hate it here so much, leave. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The endorsement that I made... Uh, years ago with Biden was one I thought was the best decision for me at that time. And I thought back then when we talk about, hey, uh, you know, I, I'm in this position uh, where I have some influence and it's my job then. It's not your like job. Then. It's no, basically, I think people went to him and said, hey, you're a huge celebrity. Could you say something, do something? Because he didn't. I remember at first he didn't really give an endorsement. I'm trying to remember because I know a lot of people are like, is he a closet Republican? 
oh my God, Dwayne Johnson's not saying well, anything. That's Where's your statement? That's just death in Dwayne? Hollywood. So you know, even if it was, even if he was, not saying he is, he wasn't going to say that he was. No, that's how you don't get jobs anymore. Yeah. So I think he was kind of like, yeah, I'm just going to uh, lay low, and I think they they put the pressure on him because again, look at what happened with. Chris Pratt, he didn't go to a Biden, just a Biden fundraiser. And I think he had something else going on, but he was even like, yeah, I don't want to get. Why does he have to? Why do you have to go to any political fundraisers at all? You you shouldn't have to. Because you have to show that you're one of the good guys, quote unquote. Quote unquote. And that's the thing. We don't normally get political on this channel, but it's a point that Dwayne Johnson's basically saying it's not our job to tell you how to vote, which is, yes, thank you, Hollywood. It's not your flipping job. No my job now to exercise my influence and share with this this is who i'm going to endorse am i going to do that again this year that answer is no good smart yeah. yeah um and he said yeah he said that uh i start to realize this is a superpower this wasn't in the uh the clip but he said fame is a superpower when used correctly i believe to influence people and in terms of being direct and honest yeah um so I mean, good on him. Uh, I think he's trying to sidestep the issue in case uh, November winds up being a disaster. But I think we need more celebrities keeping their noses out of out of politics. And I think that they're starting to realize that there there is a price to pay, too, because you do. I mean, as soon as you pick a side, it doesn't matter which side it is. You pick a side. You alienate 50 percent of your audience. Well, Yeah. But the thing is, it's like it's not your business to tell people how to vote. No, it's not. It really, truly is it. And it's not because like besides alienating your audience is the whole idea that, you know, who are you to tell them? You know, you can you can say, like, here's who I'm leaning towards. But you don't. But a lot of celebrities don't end at that. It's basically it's your moral imperative to vote the way I say, because I'm a celebrity says the rich people, you know, who who can do whatever the hell they want. And and it's not going to impact them that much. Now, uh, Kurt Russell said that he thought that he got in trouble. For he did. He got in trouble. But it's Kurt, not, he's not wrong. Kurt Russell, who was just like, "Hey, I don't think it's our job as celebrities to tell people who to vote for." We're basically court jesters, is what he said, mm-hmm. and they lost their crop. And this was about the same time that that The Rock made his statement. So I'm thinking somebody was going around to these guys and being like, "You didn't give your statement yet." Are you one of the good guys or are you like that Gina Carano or somebody? You know, like you got to let us know, you know, you're not going to try to play it down the middle like Chris Pratt because we don't like him. That's why we try to cancel him every other week. Meanwhile, Chris Pratt is voicing every cartoon character in Hollywood right now. Look, you can just do your own due diligence and do your own research. I mean, uh, just because a celebrity said it, I mean, not to be mean, but there's a lot of celebrities that aren't exactly what I call intelligent. <laughs> and just because they said it isn't a good enough reason Plus, why would you? Why would you believe it anyway? They are literally paid liars. Well, you got celebrities saying I mean, people I mean, that you know vaccines cause autism. So, I mean, what do you expect? Oh no! Now we're gonna get all kinds of comments. I don't like, care. Oh my god! Uh, I don't care. My nephew's autistic. That it's a load of shit. Go ahead. Um. Yeah. So, I mean, it's it's. I I actually think good on him. Now, I do believe that there is uh, a potential political machination going on here because. He has said repeatedly that he would actually consider running for office. I, I know. That's one of the first things I thought when I when I, you said it was him. I was like, yeah, but he also wanted to run for president. So, so the, well, it's going to be interesting. We have another video coming up, too, talking about – and I'm not sure which order we're going to drop him in, but uh, talking about Bob Iger and politics. And, and yeah, his, the headlines right there. Disney CEO Bob Iger says Disney isn't woke. But is it true or is he gaslighting the audience? Uh, yeah. And, and he's gaslighting the We'll we'll talk we'll talk about that because um, it's going to be really interesting. I think if Dwayne Johnson had gone on Fox News in 2020 and said the same thing, then he wouldn't be doing Moana too. Oh, I agree with you. Uh, I, I think for 100, percent he would it not was be so doing much. That. I mean, it's polarized now, but it was way way more polarizing four years ago, yeah. eight years ago. It's been ridiculous. Um, even now, even though Trump's running again, and you know the, the, the media is probably like you know giggling with glee because rubbing their hands together because they know they'll get money from talking about Trump. Um, that you don't, you're not seeing the level of polarization that you were seeing before. But again, I'm just gonna say, vote for who you want to vote for. It, it, like I, or I don't vote if you yeah, don't feel I, like you don't freaking I, feel like it. Don't do it. I just I think care. it's absolutely ridiculous that we have a two party system. Well, it's other parties, but it's basically a two party system, even though there should be more. Um, that are viable parties usually. Viable parties. Yeah, so. you have these two, mostly a two party system, and 
one of those parties is always labeled as some kind of traitor to the country or an istophobic whatever or a snowflake or look it's like you might have your feelings about the other party but they have the right to vote that way because they have the right to vote and you don't have to agree but just because someone doesn't agree with you 100 percent on everything doesn't mean that they're your enemy either you can disagree and still when we were kids like i said people voted differently for each other all the time and you didn't know or you didn't really care yeah, it was interesting. He was on, I saw a clip uh, after the fact that he was on Joe Rogan and he said basically the same thing. He was having a conversation with Joe Rogan. He's like, yeah, when we were younger, like your buddies would be voting for Clinton. You'd be voting for Bush or whatever. Nobody cared. Nobody yes. asked. Nine times out of 10, nobody asked. Like, no, I don't, they didn't. They didn't need to say I voted, but he didn't say for whom. Uh, no, like that was the thing. Like they never asked. I know um, the one company I worked for, they always gave us off to, to go vote. And uh, it was important because the, the guy that owned the company was actually a senator at one point, but, but they never asked what, who you're voting for. They never push you a vote in any particular direction. They're just like, it's important you go vote if you want to go vote. Uh, if not, just take a long lunch right. or whatever, you know. It's just that you, you have that, you have that right. And it doesn't make you a bad person just because you think you, whatever choices you're given, one might be a, a better choice than the other. Cause oftentimes we're given choices. I'm not saying that's every time, but a lot of times the choices are like, which people say lesser of two evils. And I'm not saying that's the case here. I'm just saying that that's happened, you know, over the years. I'm trying to be very fair. Shit with corn or shit with nuts. Yeah, basically. Take your pick. That's your you pick. Know, take your pick. And that's usually what the options people are given. And it's, it's all decided and run by, and owned by everybody else, by, you know, the same people are owned by everybody anyway. Uh, but I'm just yeah. like, I'm just like, you have the right to vote. And you should be allowed to vote for who you want to. And it doesn't make you a bad person just because you don't necessarily agree with me on my thoughts or just because you think one candidate might be, you know, a better fit than the other one for various reasons. It might, it, and what happens in the days where, you know, you might have a political party you align with, but you actually looked at the candidates, looked at the issues, and then, you know, sometimes you voted for the other party if the candidate was better. I know a lot of people who do. Who like who are older actually, and they look at the people, and they look at what they're gonna, what they've done in the past, look at what they're going, and they might be this the Republican or Democrat, but the candidate seems like a better fit, and they vote opposite their party for the whoever's the best fit. I mean, oh my God, what that's how it used to be. Yeah. And when they get in office, they'd actually try to do their damn job and start start campaigning for next time. Just sick of it. Can we just like get rid of all of them and replace them all? That'd be much better. Anyway, anyway. This is why we don't get political on this channel because it just—I think—I think it's all bullshit. I never, you know, the, the thing is about this though is like everybody thinks that we're political. Like I didn't give we're a, not. I didn't give a shit about most politics until it started creeping into every well, you every no aspect of life. Yeah, you can't you can't watch movies because they shove it in. And yeah. you can't well, you can't read comics because they shove it in. You can't listen to music because they shove it in. You can't play games because they're going to shove it in there. And if you don't agree or something doesn't do well because it just flat out sucks, it's not because they're it's because they did something wrong. It's because you're a terrible person. You can never escape it. That is actually what, what got me, you know, paying attention to things a little bit more, uh, because I, I wanted to avoid it. I, you know, I, I love pop culture and I love escapism. And, and when it got to a place where it's like, okay, we can't even get away from this discussion now, then it's like, okay, fine. I'm sick of it. <laughs> oh, here we go. We're going to wrap this up. Yeah. Sorry. That's okay. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye.